the difference between being behind the camera and being on camera. Mm -hmm. Now that you're on camera, there are things that uh, that people worry about. Right. You know, like certain cosmetic things. Yes. That you don't have to worry about when you're directing. No. Or, or back when I was a, a writer on The Simpsons or Saturday Night Live, I never had to worry about what I looked like. No. And then you have to kind of worry. What kind of things specifically are you worried about or are you taking care of? Um, it's, it's really a head-to-toe operation, kind of keeping this thing together and presentable. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's, I'm a sweater. I'm a big sweater. You sweat a lot. I easily. sweat a lot. I'm a yeah. big, big sweater. It's um, interesting because you're not sweating now. You seem like you're very dry. Well, I've got it under control. I've got it, I've got it under control. I was cooling myself. I learned I got a great tip from uh, Eric Stone Street, you guys, for, uh, of, on, on Modern Family. I yeah. saw him at, on, the, on the red carpet of the Emmys, where all men share their best beauty tips. Sure, yeah. sure. Uh, <laughs> and he saw me struggling, because it's in the summer, and it's tented, and I was really... It gets really hot. People sweat. Yeah. No, people sweat, but I, people were concerned for my well-being. And I was like, it's, it just... It happens. It's fine. And he was like, dude, you got to check this out. And he opened up his jacket, and he had a belt of um, ice packs around his entire body. Oh, he goes, that's the truth. I'm like, that's the secret? He goes, that's the secret. And he gave me an ice pack, and I put it in my pants. <laughs> and I, I was fantastic. Because I looked great, and I felt excited. <laughs> so it's both. It's both. Does, does Eric Stone Street mind you telling everybody that he walks around in an ice tuxedo? You know, that he's, his whole, is, he's encased in ice? Well, you know, I didn't really clear it with him. Um, <laughs> that's a great point. That's a great point. Because, uh, yeah. So you've done that. So you do the ice. What else? I do, do the you... ice, and um, I, uh, <laughs> I, I'm spoiling the image that you guys have of me as this perfect man. I'm sorry to be <laughs> ruining it. Uh, no, I have nose, <laughs> nose hair is a big thing. Uh, I, I, I get texts from my wife, you know, and she'll say to me, honey, like, like even today, she's like, look, I know you're going to shave, but make sure you get your nose hairs, make sure you take care of your sweat. She's always giving me tips. So my nose hair management, I really get in there, you know? <laughs> like a weed whacker? What do you have? Yeah, <laughs> basically, you basically. I mean, I would, try, I would get it all cleared out completely. I don't know why people don't do that. People shave and wax everything, but I really, I mean, look, guys. <laughs> This doesn't just happen, you know? <laughs> this is a lot of care and intermittent dieting and exercise. Is this, can I ask you a question? Is this yeah. because you're working with Rob Lowe? That does not help. <laughs> OK, let me tell you something about Rob Lowe. S swear to God, I bumped into him a couple of weeks ago. Every time I see the guy, he looks, he and I are about the same age. He looks perfect. Yeah. I always look like a raisin that's been beaten in an alley. And right. he always looks <laughs> perfect. And he said to me, moisturizers and creams. <laughs> and I said, what are you talking about? He said, creams and moisturizers. And he said, I keep little, I keep it in my pockets. Yes. And he dips his hands into his pockets and when no one's looking, <laughs> yeah. he's putting stuff on his face. It's a full-time job to be like that. And I, and I, you know, I got other things going on. I can't, if, if I had, if I put in the time and I effort, know you do something to your pores like... and you're not coming clean with it, but we'll let it go. 